Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Tolu aka Felicia. So today I'll be showing you how I wash my hair on a lazy day or should we say on a day that you're really tired and you just can't be bothered to do the finger detangling or like um, pre-poo or pre-detangle before you wash. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So guys, this was a twist out and yeah, it's already to be washed. As you can see, the curls are still in and semi-popping. So let's get right into it. This is my hair after washing it. I did not detangle pre... Well, I did not pre-detangle. I did not finger detangle. I did not do any form of detangling whatsoever before I shampooed my hair. I just went straight in and, and shampooed. So this is what my hair is looking like after I shampooed it. Yeah, crazy. Um, yeah, my hair is a bit weird. The front section drops a lot more than the rest of my hair. And the sides shrink up more than anywhere else on my head <laughs> it's so weird and the back has the loosest texture but it doesn't drop as much as the front does which is weird so anyways let's get right into it um i'm just going to section off my hair so i can start um styling um this is when i'll do the detangling when I'm styling because obviously I did not detangle at all in the beginning or during washing oh yeah this is I washed and I did not deep condition I did not deep condition I just conditioned my hair um like I'd say even less than two minutes so yeah I'm just sectioning for styling now so this wash day, I did not deep condition and I did not um, pre poo. I did not pre detangle, and my hair still survived, guys. Sometimes you can do that. You can do that. Your hair will not get so mad at you. You can do that. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys can see a bit of my texture. I will try and show um parts of my hair because I've got like so many um textures in my hair all over my head so um what you see at the back is not what it is at the front so i'll try and show you bits um as we go along while i'm styling so today i'll be using the pudding perfection curl enhancing cream from cream of nature nature argan oil range and i will also be using an argan oil Argan oil. <laughs> so those are the only two products that I'll be using in my hair today. So yes, I just applied the product into my hair. Um, this basically, um, using these two products, puts the LOC LOC method in place because I already have water in my hair and um, I I hardly use towels um, when I wash my hair. I just use towels to wipe my face <laughs> to wipe to wipe my face when I wash my hair. I hardly use towels to dry my hair. I just shake it and make sure I shake, shake, shake like my hair depends on it because it does. I shake while I'm in the shower and um, that usually gets off the excess water. So this is the texture on this side at the back of my hair. So, and um, I used the Put In Perfection um, Curl Enhancing Cream um, as a cream moisturizer. And then I applied the oil on top. And um, this should do, this this would do it for this wash day so 
so I make sure that I rub it all in properly massage it in and then I comb comb through my hair properly as you can see my texture at the back is quite loose Wow, I'm really struggling to to section the parts evenly. It's such a struggle. Well, was such a struggle. Takes time, guys. Takes time. So guys, to protect my ends, I tried to put it in a knot, a mini bantu knot. Um, I actually got this idea from another YouTuber called Jacinta Wabugo. I hope I'm pronouncing that name properly. I'll link um, her video in the description box below so you can check it out. But um, by the end of, by the time I got to the end of my hair, I figured out um an easier way to actually do that bantu knot because i tried to do it the way she explained it and as you can see i struggled a little bit <laughs> so yeah i still did the bantu knot but um a different way and i'll show you at the end um yeah this is actually really good guys putting your ends in a mini bantu knot um it's really when you take out your your style it's really moisturizing your ends get curly so it's not just strangly so it's a really good idea still struggling to make this like the parts even like seriously guys it wasn't easy <laughs> it really wasn't easy because as soon as you start plaiting you realize one is smaller than the other two or one is bigger than <laughs> than the other two and then I start again so yeah So guys, when Jacinta was explaining this, it sounded so easy, but trying to actually do it wasn't that easy at all. So <laughs> she explained it as in that you wrap, first to wrap around your finger and then you make the knot like that, 
it wasn't that easy guys it really wasn't you should try it because it's actually a really good idea to put your ends into a knot i'm sure other um natural hair youtubers use this but i think she's the she's the first person i'm hearing it from so that's why i'm mentioning her name so um yeah i'm sure other people know this but yeah, I've just I've always just left my ends, um, but then when I take out the twist or plait, my ends are usually straight or curly, but not as curly as when I put it in a bag too. No. So guys, um, this section of my hair, as well as the exact um, part on the other side, they are quite rebellious. Um, they shrink up a lot more than anywhere else, than everywhere else on my head. Yes guys, like I mentioned earlier, the front of my hair hangs down a lot more than um, the rest of my head. Um, yeah, and um, the way I did the Bantu knot, that's the, I figured out, um, I can just fold it and then just twist it around um, afterwards. So that's, that's the easiest way I could do it, which it still makes the Bantu knot. So guys, this part of my hair um, also has a different texture to the very um, bottom side to it. So that side is also looser than, well I wouldn't say looser, but it's very easy to manage as well. Once I put product, it just um, curls. I've, I've noticed that from the, since my hair started growing. 
because it was always more curly than um, than the front of my head. So I'm just going to show you guys again um, how I did the mini bantu knot at the end of each part. So when I get to the tip, um, I twist it around my finger and then I fold it and just wrap it around the knot that I made. I usually make sure to do um, one twist or plait at the middle, sort of like at the center um, of my hair, especially when I'm doing a fringe. Um, I put one in the middle, as you can see, I've got two, but then I've got space in the middle there. So I make sure I um, plait one just to cover that space. And you also notice on the crown of my head, I do another one in the middle going to the back to cover the space of the plaits that I did at the back. You see that um, at the end. So guys, this is what it looks like. That's the middle one going to the back, just to cover that space at the back that you can see that line in between the ones on the side. So that'll cover that space there. And the one at the front will cover the space at the front. So this is how much hair I lost altogether. Bear in mind, I did not pre-detangle or pre-poo at all. 
so this brings us to the end of this video guys I hope you really enjoyed it and um, make sure to share to people that you think may benefit do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on snapchat and um, Instagram as well as Twitter the links are in the comment section below thanks for watching again guys see you in my next video stay blessed and beautiful bye